And welcome in, everybody. Glad you're with us. We've got a perfect night for baseball on the show. It's the Oakland Athletics taking on the Baltimore Orioles. First pitch coming your way next. Just about set to go now. And on the hill in this one, John Means. What's the scouting report on him? Four-pitch guy, he's got some options to work with in terms of keeping hitters off balance. So we'll see how he decides to utilize those weapons through this start here and whether or not he's able to mix them all in early or if he wants to hold something back a little bit later, maybe second, third time through the order, and give them something they haven't seen. It's tough when you know a guy's got that in his back pocket. As a hitter, you really have to stay on your toes. First pitch, 635. And that one lifted in the air, center field. Mullins snags it on the run. And time now to check out the A's lineup. They're facing a guy today who is a strike thrower. Doesn't issue a lot of walks, so they're going to have to work hard to generate base runners. And when you've got a strike thrower like this guy on the mound, you can't be overly patient as a hitter because the umpire is generally going to give him the benefit of the doubt. So you got to go up there understand what's in his repertoire be aggressive in what you can handle and you get three swings why not take all three of them with his control and command he's going to be in the strike zone tony kemp in the box now no balls in a strike next offering is in for a strike all right now he may have not liked either of those first two pitches or agreed with the umpire's calls but at this point He's going to have to bear down and be ready to hit anything close to the zone. Swings and misses. It's a strikeout. Couldn't catch up to the heater. Just blown away in that at bat. Three fastballs, all strikes. He wasn't even able to foul one off. There's not much you can take away from an at bat like that as a hitter other than maybe there's something wrong with your eyes. He's got to have better timing on the fastball next time. Two outs. And there's a strike. One way to make a guy real uncomfortable at the plate is pound him inside with good velocity. They're doing that right here. Kicks and fires. And a foul ball. Got him swinging. And one, two, three, go the A's. And now the O's will get their first crack at it. No score. Major League Baseball is on the show. Welcome back. And on the mound in this one, Paul Blackburn. A really good outing for him last time. Scattered two runs, was attacking hitters, getting ahead in the count. Great performance. We'll see if he can do it again in this one. Yeah, the batter now, Cedric Mullins. For the Orioles, the better deal. And the pitch. Good eye right there. Blackburn, a former All-Star. He features a sinker, a cutter, a curb, a changeup, and he works in a four-seamer. Oh. Next offering misses, and the count is 2-0. Liner caught it second. All right, let's take a look at the Orioles lineup now. They're dealing with a sinker specialist on the mound, which can be a big-time challenge when he's right and working mostly from the knees down. Well, I think the approach you take is really try to lay off of those pitches down in the zone until he gets some called strikes and then forces you to go after that pitch. Until then, make him elevated because guys that throw those sinkers, those two-seamers, really hard for them to be effective up in the zone. Those are pitches you can hammer. When you get a cookie, you don't want to miss it. 
really good cutter that he's able to front door and back door. That pitch is devastating. Strike two. This guy's got Let's such a down. good sinker. As a hitter, you've got to look up in the zone. If you look down, you're going to be chasing stuff in the dirt. 0-2 oh, now. Got it by him for the K. He's locked in at the plate when he's using the whole field. He was out in front there. That Just needs good. to let the ball travel That's a little more, and his timing will be back on track. Good pitch for the strikeout. Here's Ryan Mountcastle. First offering, and it just misses. And that one oh, just missed down. off the outside edge. He hasn't wanted to challenge him. Both of those pitches off the plate away. Don't expect anything down the heart of the plate. You may just have to be patient and take your walk here. There's a strike. And a 2-1 on the way. On the ground. And that squirts through. And that extends the inning. Good extension on that swing. Took the pitch on the outside part of the plate and drove it up the middle. He let it travel just enough. Anthony Santander at the plate. Misses off the inside, and it's 1-0. Here comes a pitch. And that one fouled off. Mountcastle leads off first with two down to the inning. Ball. Next one misses, and that's ball two. And that's in for a strike. Next pitch is downstairs. 3-2, two, two out, runner on first. A lot of movement in the infield. Hitters got to stay focused on the pitch. So now two on and two outs. Batting fifth, the catcher. Adley. Here's Adley Rutschman. First offering misses the mark. Well, the offense really struggled last night. I mean, it was awful. So I, I think picking up a run right here, that's going to get him going a little bit. And a pinch. Inside, ball two. Tough spot right here. A couple runners on. Two ball count. You can't nibble, but you have to execute and finish your pitch. If you leave something out over the plate, it's going to bring in some runs. Good hitters count the 2 0. Back to the mound. It hit him. To first, and he beats it. Everyone's safe. Well, these are the ones you hate to see. It got him right in the head. Amazingly, he looks like he might be okay. He's kind of waving everyone off. Wow. Yeah, I'm pretty amazed. They obviously take any shot to the head very seriously, but you're right, Boo. It looks like he's doing okay out there. Thank goodness. Down the third baseman, Ramon Urias. And that's in there for strike one. And he deals. And there's a foul ball.
The 0-2 stays alive. Two outs, bases are full. Got him. Huge strikeout there. Orioles leave them loaded. We played an inning. No score. And welcome back. Second inning set to go. So here's the cleanup hitter for Oakland. Brent Rooker. Rooker. Means back to work. And that's a strike. Yeah, a big swing and a miss. Carl Dixon working the plate in this one. You know, we often hear and talk about umpires being a pitcher's umpire. But Boog Dixon, maybe a little bit more hitter friendly than most. He's kind of tight on the corners. So we'll see if that comes into play at all in this one. High fly ball out into left center field. Mullins settles under it. He's got it. And there's one away. Singy, what kind of strike zone is most frustrating for hitters? I'd say off the plate, away, and down. And why those are the toughest locations to hit the baseball. Oledmis Diaz in the box with one away as he takes ball one. Two balls, no strikes to count. As the game has moved along, we see more and more information supplied by teams about the umpires. I've been in clubhouses where they have pictures of all four guys, nicknames, hometowns, and as well, hobbies listed, just so you can kind of small talk the umpire a little bit. <laughs> That's great. Next pitch misses, and the count is three and one. Good plate appearance there. Able to take the walk. I don't think he really wanted to pitch to him right there anyhow. That is it. One down. Here's Ramon Laureano. Laureano. Hammered down the right side, but foul. All in one now. Liner stagged it first. Dives for the bag. Got him. Double play. So they make short work of him there. Now to the bottom of the second. We're tied. Nothing, nothing. Bottom half of inning number two. Now at the plate, Gunnar Henderson. The pitch. And takes low for ball one. Count one and oh. And a pitch. Swing and a slow roller. Fires to first on the run. And a quick out number one. Batting in. The left fielder. Off there. And now it's Austin Hayes. No hits in the shutout yesterday afternoon. It's coming back around. Ground ball up the middle. That's a base hit. Couldn't have timed it up any better than that. First pitch fastball in a great spot to do some damage, and he squared it up nicely. Jorge Mateo now. Singing, you can't ask for anything more. This guy checks all the boxes offensively. He is the ultimate professional, and it doesn't just start at game time. It starts in the afternoon the way he prepares and gets ready for the ball game. I tell you what, his teammates feed off of the leadership that he shows on and off the field. 
first pitch, and that's in for a strike. Well, as a hitter, you're hoping that the command on that sinker doesn't come until later in the ball game. But if that's how it's going to be all day, it's going to be a tough one for the offense. Pitch misses, nope, and one and one. One and one. That one out to right, and that'll get down for a hit. Hayes around second. Hayes coming around third. Kemp with a relay home. Not in time, he scores. And it's 1-0. Well done, drives in the run. When you pop a ball up like that, you don't expect it to get you a knock too often, but right there, somehow he got it to drop in behind first base, and that's where no one could get to it. So digging in, Cedric Mullins. And first offering is fouled off. If you're going to be a championship type of ball club, you've got to hit with runners in scoring position. And after last night's struggles, I'm sure these guys are chomping at the bit to have this kind of opportunity here early in this game. Runner leads good, away good, at second. Good. He's trying for third. Pitch in for a strike. Throw. Save. Pena too late with a throw. So in this game, you got to take what the other team is giving you. And right there, they were giving him a steal of third base. Didn't check his lead. Catcher doesn't throw very well. So you got to take that back. Get your team that much closer to scoring a run. Mateo stands at third with one gone in the inning. Left-hand hitter waits. That one the other way. Calls it in, and there's two away. Now back, second baseman, Adam Frazier. Here's Adam Frazier. He was a strikeout victim his first time. Whoa, Next offering right is down low. Ball one. Come on, pop one. The pitch. Ball two. When you get ahead in the count, there's no doubt that the success rate goes up. And that's what he's been doing. It's made a big impact for him in recent games. 2-0 to count. Forward. Here it comes. Bounce to the right. The flip to the pitcher covering, Frazier retired. Third out, and that ends the frame. The O's add one on an RBI double. It's an early 1-0 lead. You're watching Major League Baseball on the show. On to the third inning, and now the veteran catcher, Manny Pena. Pena will handle the catching duties in this one. 35 years old. He joined the team as a free agent. The wind of the pitch. That one missed means. In his fifth season, 29 years old, and he's one of the few players in Major League Baseball born in Kansas. Yeah. Next offering is in for a strike. And there's a ball. Two-one pitch is in there, and the count is even. Bounce to the left side, and it goes just foul. Is there a little wrinkle to that? I think there was. Yeah. A little slider action. Mountcastle puts the squeeze on that one, and there's one down. Digging in for Oakland, Jordan Diaz had the day off yesterday. Diaz, in his rookie season, 
in the eighth spot in today's lineup, and he's a native of Columbia. And foul ball. And now the 01. And ball one. Just missed. One down, base is empty. That's out to center field. Mullins grabs it on the run. Batting up the center field. Next up for the A's, Lawrence Butler. Butler. Great speed and great power. A great athlete, quite simply. Next pitch downstairs. And that is ball one. And now the lefty rolled softly, but that goes foul. Checks his swing. Appeal down to third, and no swing, says Joe McDonald. Next pitch inside. Now three and one. When you have a real athletic player and who's able to do the baseball mechanical things really well, look out because the sky's the limit on that potential. The wide to kick the pitch. And he walked him. Very close off the outside corner. Could have easily been called a strike in that location. Now it's Chase Peterson. Flied out to center in his first at bat. That one down the line, and that's just foul. Butler, the runner at first with two gone. Peterson measures six feet even, 215 pounds, a former first round pick oh. back in 2011. Step off throw to first, and he's back in on a dive. Good speed on the base pass, he handles the bat very well. I wouldn't be surprised if the skipper puts on some type of hit and run or run and hit. Means really keeping a close eye on him now. Again to first. And again he's back safely. And one and two. I think he was sitting off speed there. pitch that one to first and he picks it up in foul territory and here it comes swings and misses struck him out the A's strand one they still trail one nothing Back here in Baltimore, leading, leading off, off Ryan Mountcastle. The first baseman, Ryan Mountcastle. Blackburn back to work. And yeah, that's a little high. And the 1-0. And that one sliced foul. Right, 
Ball Next two. offering is down low. Just missed. And yeah, the right handers three one. Out to short Diaz. Safe at first as they can't make the play. It doesn't really matter where you are in the lineup. Your job is to get on base and try to start a rally if you're leading off an inning. So an infield single does the job right there. Now we'll see if they can make something happen. Anthony Santander, the next to hit for the Orioles. He reached out a walk his first time. That one pulled foul. And he's down 0-2 as he swings through it. Righty delivers. Fights that one away and the count remains 0-2. Rudder at first with no outs here. Righty to the plate. Caught him looking for the K. And now the switch hitting catcher, Adley Rutschman, reached on an infield single his first time. There's the strike. Man, I mean, nice job just presenting it to be better than it actually was. Line drive, base hit right center field. Lead runner makes the turn at second. The throw to third, and the throw's offline, safe at third. I'm amazed at his ability to pull his hands inside and actually square that baseball off. That pitch was off the plate. So tough to get the barrel to anything in there. Ramon Urias digs in now. Ground ball left side, and it goes just foul. Well, Ramon Urias, spectacular defender, won a gold glove in 2022, and became the first Orioles third baseman to win a gold glove since, you know who, boo? Manny Machado? That's right, in 2015. Now one and one. one -oh. Second and third here, one away. to right. Loriano settles under it. Makes the catch. Runner tagging from third. That's a sacrifice fly as he comes across and they lead by two. In that situation you're looking to get something up in the zone that you can put in the air. Worst case scenario a sacrifice fly to drive in that runner from third. Here's the designated hitter for the Orioles. Gunnar Henderson. 0 for 1 he grounded out in his first at bat. Check swing, but he went too far. 0-1. Rutschman on its second with two down. Let's 
swing and a base hit. Here comes Rutschman around third. He scores, and they're up by three. Picks himself up an RBI. Nice job of driving that pitch the other way on a line. You know, hitters, they take so many reps in the cages working on going to the opposite field, and it doesn't always translate into the game, but right there it did, and he did it perfectly. And now they've got some speed on first, so we'll see if they try to get him into motion. So two down. Here's the left fielder, Austin Hayes. He swings and misses at the first pitch, 0-1. at the belt and fires. Out towards right center field, Butler under it. Puts the squeeze on that one, and that ends the inning. Two runs, three hits, no errors, and one left. On to inning number four. It's the Orioles three, and the A's nothing. Back here at the ballpark, John Chompy with Chris Singleton and set to lead off the fourth, Tony Kemp. And a pitch. They tried to get him to chase on a slider down and away. And a strike in there. Well, after scoring runs, this is where you're looking for that shutdown inning. Get that hot team back in there to swing the bats. Foul ball still a one and two count. The pitch. Up the middle and he knocks it down. On to first. One up, one down. The first base is the 99. And now it's Jesus Aguilar. Off the mark there. And that's ball one. And that's in for a strike. One and one. The A's yet to pick up a hit here. Next pitch is outside. And that just misses. Really good take, especially with two strikes. And that's ball four. Did miss by much right there. Just couldn't get the call off the inside corner. Man at first with one gone. And next will be the cleanup hitter, Brent Rooker. 0 for 1 so far. Taken high in the draft. He's had that top prospect labeled over him since he put on a professional uniform. But at some point, that starts to go away, and you've got to produce at the big league level. Swing and a miss. That's strike one. Man, he really sells the changeup with that arm action. Strike two. Struck him out swinging. Some high cheese for strike three. Thought it was a pretty good pitch. Top of the strike zone. We're seeing more fastballs in that location. Hitters, especially with two strikes, have to be ready to pull the trigger. Diaz in the box with two gone and it takes a look at a called strike.
And that one fouled off. Aguilar off of first with two away. He goes down looking. One left for Oakland. They trail it here, three nothing. Trust me when I tell you no exceptions to the rule. Bringing blessings when I move. Special on my essence, I'm a boo. Ready to go, bottom four. Here's the shortstop at the play, Jorge Mateo. Pretty amazing athlete this guy is. Power and speed, quite a threat. I mean, you're talking about someone that could steal your bag and go deep. Bo Jackson, anyone? Hey. Going one. Yeah, he's like Mike Trout. You figure whatever you put in his hand, whether it's a bat, whether it's a golf club, whether it's a basketball, he can do it and get it done. And a rare talent, so much fun to watch. And strike two. In the dirt. Throw to first. Gets him. One away on a drop third strike. So back to the top of the Orioles lineup. Cedric Mullins getting ready to hit. Next offering is down low. Ball one. And now two and nothing is that one missed below the knees. No strength. And 2 0 is in for a strike. Two ball, one strike. Kicks and deals. Fouls one off, two and two. Right-hander kicks, deals. Hard grounder into the outfield for a knock. He was all over that one. Really nice now job staying up the Second middle with his approach. He didn't try to do too much with the pitch. Just Wait, shot sure. it through the infield. Standing in is the power-hitting second baseman, Adam Frazier. Here comes the pitch. There goes the runner from first. There's a ball. Pena got him. Caught stealing. Well, I really didn't expect him to try to steal second base because he had a very standard lead at best. If you're going to try to get there safely, you've got to get more on that lead. You've got to get a better jump. That was the difference between being safe and out. And the right-hander deals. Jack Swing oh, went around. And that is strike one. This is important. If he can go one, two, three here, it will be a very positive sign for him and for his team. Swing and a ball lifted in the air. Shallow left field. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. And that's the third out. I'm in the morning. I'm in the zone. Leave me alone, please. I've got a habit of doing my own thing. So if you want not Ready now for the fifth Leading inning. Loriano comes up the to hit. Fielder, Ramon Loriano. The wind of the pitch. And that one just misses. 
A ball and no strikes. Yeah, that's too high. Up the middle, Mateo gathers and throws to first. And the leadoff hitter retired in the fifth. The catcher, number 28, Manny. Here's Manny Pena. Popped out and foul ground first time through. That one drifts inside. The Athletics still looking for their first hit in this one. Next offering is in for a strike. And a strike on the outside edge. A one-two count, all he's seen is fastballs. You've got to expect something off speed. Stay back. Swings through it for the K. Chase the fastball up the ladder for strike three. Here's a big power threat. Jordan Diaz. 0 for 1 with a fly out. When he steps into the batter's box, the comfort level looks so high. It doesn't matter what kind of delivery that pitcher has, what kind of velocity, what kind of secondary stuff. He is so settled in there, he owns the home plate area. Comes up empty on the swing, 0-2 now. Now this offense has just been locked down. Almost five full innings of shutout baseball. Broken bat, and it's popped up. On the run, sends it over to first. Out number three. Back now at Oriole Park, Leading we head off. to the bottom Jordan of the fifth. Oriole. And now the first baseman, the first baseman. Ryan Mountcastle. <laughs> the pitch. There's the strike at the knees. Yeah, and that skips in the dirt. Here's a 1-1. And that oh, one is inside. Next offering misses down and away. First pitch strike from the pitcher, but then no panic at all by the hitter. Very patient, showing good discipline. Now he's in the driver's seat with the 3-1 count. And a 3-1 on the way. And there's the strike. Three, two on the way. Gets a piece and stays alive. The three, two oh, boy, is off the outside edge and that is ball four. Oh, looking for a swing and miss right there or for the ump to help him out and make a call with that last pitch, but neither happened. Close pitch, but a good take to earn that walk. Santander, the batter now, as he swings and misses for strike one. Oakland's bullpen has some movement. Hogan Harris, the left-hander, up and throwing. Number 38, getting cranked up as well.
swing and a ball popped up. Peterson makes the play, and there's one down. Now batting, Jetson, Adley Rutschman, the next to hit for the Orioles. In there, and it's 0-1. Pretty impressive. We haven't seen that pitch from him much, but he's got a really good feel when he throws it. Mountcastle over at first with one away. In the air, left field. Rooker under it. Puts it away for the out. Man at first, so next to hit for Baltimore, Ramon Urias. First pitch, and he just misses. And that one clips the corner. Next offering is in for a strike. Kicks and fires. Fouls it off, still one and two. Yeah, the one two misses to even the count. It's a good take. And a pitch. That one drilled left field. And foul ball. Brings it in for the third out. And the Orioles leave one, but they lead it 3 nothing. Welcome back. Here's a speed threat. Lawrence Butler. He's not going to get cheated up there. No, he's not. He's looking to do damage with every swing he takes. Means back to work. In for a strike. Strike one. Butler, 22 years old. And he's usually in right field, but today he's patrolling center. Strike two. Some guys love to make that adjustment from a corner spot to center field because in center, you get the best view of the ball game. You're looking straight in at the hitter's area. On the corners, you're blocked a little bit. And it gets through for a hit. Their first of the ball game. The third baseman, number six. James and now, Jace Peterson. Peterson. That one's in there, 0 and 1. The 0 1. Popped up to the left, into foul ground, and a foul ball. Now, these guys definitely looking for a big swing of the bat right here. Try to close that gap. But, you know, at the very least, if you could find a way to manufacture that run from first, it feels like it's really important to getting back into this ballgame. Next offering is downstairs. Well, that's kind of what you expect in an 0-2 count. Excellent job of the hitter to have the plate discipline to lay off of that pitch. Got him swinging for the strikeout. Slider got him for strike three. Here's Tony Kemp. He has... As they like to say, light tower power. Not a big guy, but a big swing. And thunder in that bat. And the nope. first pitch misses for ball one. Ball one. 
Swings through that one. One and one. The lefty ready and a one one. And that one wrapped foul. Means throws over. Butler oh, gets it. back easily. down on strikes. Not sure about that call. Pitcher might have gotten a friendly strike three. Oh, no, interesting. He's looking very comfortable out of the stretch after giving up the leadoff single. Back-to-back -back strikeouts, so they haven't been able to move that runner up, get him in the scoring position, and try to have a better chance of scoring. I tell you, good job so far on the mound. He just needs one more out. Aguilar at the plate with two away, swings through that one. They try another pitch out. Two outs. That misses. Two and one. The pitch. Three ball. One. Chris with that distraction and the speedy guy at first. He's in a favorable hitter's count. Well, if nothing else, I mean, this is a great spot for a hitter to be in. The 3-2 is off the outside edge, and that is ball four. Second walk of the game for him, and he's been really patient at the play, a game plan that he's sticking to. He's just not going outside of what he's looking for up there. Rooker in the box again. Takes a strike. Oh, no. oh, and an 0-0 count. Not every strike is a good strike for a hitter. I like the plate discipline there. And now it's oh, even oh, up. Right. Swing and a miss, and that's strike two. two strike. Two on, two outs. Out to short, Mateo. That's out number three. So another good inning for him on the mound. Six shutout innings now. Seven, eight, nine, two up in the home half of the inning. It's the Orioles three and the A's nothing. On the pitch now for Oakland, Hogan now, Harris. Just trying to keep this one close here, and this is where Hogan. a bullpen can give their guys a chance to fight back into the game. Gunnar Henderson now at the plate. Beautiful swing in his last at bat. Opposite field knock. 
Harris in his rookie season, 26 years old, and he was a third round pick back in 2018. And there's the strike. You know, these Orioles really impressing me with the quality of their bats in this one. It's been fun getting a chance to see them go to work. They really made that opposing starter work in this one. Ran his pitch count off, and now they've got an opportunity to continue making things difficult on the bullpen. Now that was maybe it. even Let a little me. off the plate, but okay. no problem getting the barrel to it. Man, hey. he does such a nice job, and that's what you're supposed to do with the pitch in that location. There's a strange so, a man going. aboard. Now the left fielder, Austin down. Hayes. In there for strike one. Henderson on at first, nobody out. Fastball, and he gets out of the way. And a pitch. So a foul ball makes it one and two. That's towards center. Pulls it in, and there's one away. The batter, number three, shortstop, Jorge Mateo. Now it's the shortstop, Jorge Mateo. He is quite an athlete. I mean, you look around the other sports, basketball, football, you feel like he could thrive in one of those sports, too. In for a strike, and it's 0-1. This is one of those situations defensively where you can't try to do too much. you got to make sure that you feel the ball cleanly and get one out first. It's going to be tough to get two with this kind of speed in the batter's box. The 0-1. That one nope. missing inside. Cuts and misses. It's a strikeout. Uh, I think he might have gotten away with one right there. That was a very hittable yeah, pitch right That's over the part good. of the plate. And I know that batter is kicking himself right now. Would like to get that pitch again. Just pulled the string on it, and the deception gets him the K. the ground. Ken. They get the force and that'll do it. One left for the Orioles but they lead it 3-0. We go to the top of the seventh. Let Miss Diaz now. The A's in striking distance, but have some work to do. Boog, it starts with the laid off man. I need a good at bat out of him right here. Here comes a pinch. Inside, just missed. Well, he's back out there to begin the seventh. That surprised you at all, Chris? Yeah, a little bit. It was a little rough sixth inning there, but his skipper's got a lot of confidence in him. But trust me, they will keep a close eye on how he does in this one. Hit hard on the ground to short. To first. Oh. And the leadoff hitter set down to open the seventh. Now batting. White fielder. Ramon Laureano. Ramon Laureano. Up next for the A's. Foul ball. Here comes the 0-1. That's a strike. Oh, this guy on the mound's done a lot better than we would have expected. And the hitters just don't seem to have the right game plan. They're taking too many mistake pitches for called strikes. Mm -hmm. 
Here's a high chopper, and he grabs it in foul ground. The next pitch misses, and that's ball one. Two strikes. And now the lefty. And it's even up. Got him looking, that's a strikeout. Two outs, base is empty. Here's the catcher, Manny Pena. Now just about to hit that century mark, 100 pitches for this game. And a foul ball left side. A one down. Swings through that one out in front that time. Going to count one and two. The big lefty turns, kicks, deals. The punch out there. That's his second strikeout. A's go quickly and quietly there. Still down, 3-0. For the Bottom of the seventh, and into the box for Baltimore, Adam Frazier. The second baseman. The wind in the pitch. That clips the inside corner for a strike. Good eye right there. On the ground, out to short. Slings it across. One up, one down. The first baseman, number six. Ryan. And next for the Orioles, Ryan Mountcastle. <laughs> and first offering is fouled off. Ball one there. I got a ball, one strike. Next one oh, off the plate play. inside. Ball two. Line drive. And makes the grab. Two away. Man, that's one of those at bats where you have to remind yourself it's about the process. He did everything right right there. Nothing to show for it. But in your mind, you have to convince yourself that it was a very good at bat. Santander stands in now and watches strike one. And the pitch. Swing and a miss as he was out front. Throwing the ball well, and they need this scoreless inning in relief right here. Been doing a good job keeping him in striking distance. On the ground to first. Aguilar oh. takes it himself. That's the third out. Nothing doing this time around for the O's, but they're on top by a count of three to nothing. Back here in Baltimore, now it's the DH, Jordan Diaz. Jordan Diaz. Well, on paper, it's favorable to have a fairly quick inning here with two of the three hitters he's set to face batting from the left side, same side he throws from.
The wind of the pitch. Nope, outside. Swings through that one for strike two. And another ball. Now fly ball to right center. Mullins makes the grab one away. Now battle. The center field. Lawrence Butler, Lawrence. the next to hit. But you talk about the power and the speed together. Well, we knew he was going to be a stud just coming up, making his way through the minor leagues, and quickly at this level, an impact player. And he deals. And a count one and two. Left hand batter waits. Swings through it, and that's a strikeout. And Chris, that's a way to neutralize his speed by keeping him off base. And the defense breathes a sigh of relief because he puts pressure on everyone if he can put the ball in play. But that's how you do it. Keep him off balance, get him out of there, and deal with the next guy. Peterson in the box now. No balls and a strike. Boog, that hook's looking pretty sharp today. Just a solid pitching performance so far, and I really think it's because of that curveball. Just missed. Swing and a ground ball up the middle. That's a base hit. The batter, the second baseman, Tony. Only two hits yeah. allowed so far tonight, Boog, so I don't think that one will disrupt his momentum all that much. You know, he's really been on top of his game, commanding his pitches all night long. Here comes the skipper, and we're going to see a pitching change in this spot. That's as far as John Means will go, and he was very good. They'll be happy with that, no doubt. We'll be back with a new pitcher in a minute. Felix Bautista on to try and close it out. And I can't imagine any save is an easy one. You're holding a small lead on the scoreboard, and you know those hitters are going to give you the best at-bats they can. So it's always high stress. Let's see what he's got here to try and close it out. Tony Kemp up next for the A's. And the pitch is outside, ball one. Peterson leads off first with two down to the inning. Next offering upstairs. pitch that one fouled off two and two and here it comes spoils that one and it remains two and two And the righty deals. Spoils the two-strike pitch, and he'll see another. Also really good at bat. What I like about this guy, his bat stays in the zone for a long time. Gives him the ability to foul off tough pitches. Next pitch is downstairs. Jesus Aguilar next to bat for the A's.
the pitch. Battling here as he fouls it away. Ninth pitch of the at-bat due next. Line drive. Jumps, but it's off his glove. No throw, and the defense comes away with nothing. Back-to-back yep. -back singles, great hands on that swing. Took the barrel right to the baseball, caught it out front, and ripped it into the gap. At that point, there's probably no question in his mind that he was going for two. That's just a great feeling. Now let's see if they can string something together, make it a little more interesting. Aguilar in the box lays off for ball one. Next offering is in for a strike. Cold night tonight, Boog, and that's a pretty firm fastball right there. I tell you what, memories of getting jammed, they are creeping into my mind right now. All right, grounder into the outfield for a knock. Around third. He'll score easily. And now just a two-run deficit. Always feels amazing getting a job done when the team needs you to come through. It's just bigger than your own individual stats. I know that was a ground ball, but it was absolutely hammered through the infield. That's not one you're excited to get in front of if you're an infielder. You know they used to say, charge it. Crazy. First and second, two outs. Here's the left fielder, Brent Rooker. And things could change quickly here with one swing. Hey. Top of the zone, and it's called a strike. That was absolute gas. Triple digits on the gun. It's just a different experience as a hitter watching that go by. And a pitch. Perhaps not quite ready to hit. First two pitches by him for a couple of strikes. Now back is against the wall. He's going to have to figure something out and figure it out quickly. Upstairs. Looking very settled on the mound here in the eighth. One more out. They'll probably hand it off to their closer for the ninth with at least a two-run lead. This one in the dirt. In plenty of time, the first inning over, and it could have been worse. But they pick up one run on the RBI single, and this is now a 3-1 ball game. So coming into the game now on defense, Seth Brown. He takes over as the new first baseman. And welcome back. Bottom of the eighth. Now the Orioles catcher, Adley Rutschman. The wide to kick the pitch. Looked like it was a little bit up. Outside corner, there's a strike. Back to him with a breaking ball. Just got the corner. There's nothing you can really do with that. One one now. And delivers Four outside. Down. That misses, and that's ball three. This is a really good feeling for a hitter. At this point in the ball game, you know that they don't want to walk you, so you're going to get a pitch to hit. You just better not miss it. This one high in the air to left center. Makes the grab on the run, and there's one down. Now batting, third baseman, Ramon. So up next, Ramon Urias.
swings here and blasts one left field. Rooker raging back towards the wall, racing back some more. To the warning track, makes the catch. That's just a really nice catch on the run right there. He saved extra bases for sure. If the pitcher's his friend, he'll give him a second to catch his breath before he's ready to deal the next pitch. He swings and fouls one off. The wind of the pitch. Next offering is outside. Good eye right there. Two balls, two strikes to count with two outs. Got him. And good work there as he gets a 1-2-3. Orioles held in check there, but they still lead it 3-1. We go to the ninth, and it's Aledmus Diaz. Bautista, in his second season, 27 years old, and he was born in the Dominican Republic. And the pitch is in for a strike. Strike one. Where do you even begin with the talent we've seen from the Dominican Republic? Vladi, Big Poppy, Pedro, the list goes on and on. Strike two. pitch swing and a miss and he struck him out and he's down on strikes for the second time today that's about as nasty of a splitter as you'll come across especially in terms of movement I mean, that thing tumbles out of his hand and just drops off the table at the last moment he keeps it down it's just so tough to put wood on fought off foul The 0-1. And that's outside. Righty delivers. Foul ball there. That one not close, and the count's full. That's foul off to the right side, keeps the A-B going. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. That's the second out. Back-to-back -back strikeouts to start the frame, and that's now three in a row. Yeah, he's really settling in and getting a feel for his pitches, throwing them where he wants to right now. So we'll see how long he can keep this streak going. Pena in the box with two gone. And it takes a look at a called strike. Triple digits. Oh, 
Next One pitch, ball. not close, up high. That's inside. That misses the zone, ball three. Pressure mountain right here with the tying run in the on-deck circle. He's got to find the strike zone. And a swing and a miss, and that is the ball game. Well, someone from the bullpen had to come in, get a big out, and then had a little time to think about it before he went back out to get the final three outs of this ball game. Nonetheless, outstanding job to get the save and secure the win for his team. And your final 3-1 as the Orioles win this one for Chris Singleton and our entire crew here at MLB The Show. Thanks for stopping by. I'm John Schumann.